Alola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and finally I found something from the uh, Crimson Invasion set I can get behind, and that is Gorgeist, the stage 1 Pokemon, has 120 HP, it's a Psychic type. Confuse Ray confuses your opponent's active Pokemon, and we are playing this with Pumpkin Bomb. Pumpkin Bomb, before doing damage, you may discard any number of Pokemon 2 cards from your Pokemon. This attack does 40 more damage for each card you discard this way. So, that's awesome. You can discard all the tools off your Pokemon and do a total of uh, 6 times 4, which is, uh, I believe, 200 and, uh, 240 damage total. But primarily, you're going to be discarding 4, uh, which is, you know, 160 uh, plus whatever you have on you so you can hit 190 by discarding four tool cards And that's primarily what you're gonna be trying to do You're gonna be trying to trade one one prize card for two prize cards and end up winning that way So this deck does struggle a little bit with uh, one on one because you have to usually discard at least three to take out the one um, But we have a pretty good recycling method in order to get back all of our tools uh, Which is pretty good Let's copy that now. So the main, uh, we of course we have to have four Pumpkaboos in order to evolve into our three Gorgeist. And the reason why I'm playing three is because I'm playing four Rescue Stretchers. Um, <clears throat> but we also have four Klefki, which Wonderlock turns it into a tool. So, I actually, I can't take credit for this. I saw this on another video. Someone used Klefki, and I was like, well, fine, I'll max out Klefkis on this deck in order to... Uh, play it which makes the most sense clef key clef key is a little bit easier to get out of the discard pile than some of the tool cards so we're playing a total of four clef keys which we are going to be rescue stretching constantly for pump kaboos to be able to evolve into three gorgeist we are playing two tapu leles just for consistency uh if you want to play a budget a more budget friendly version of this uh, i'm not sure what you could put in place of Tapu Lele, maybe a couple Skylas to be able to search out the exact card you need, or maybe a Mallow. Uh, but Tapu Lele is just great for that first turn, so we can get down as many basics as we want. You know, we want to be able to bridge it, get down uh, uh, Klefki, Remoraid, uh, Pumpkaboo, or two Pumpkaboos and a Remoraid. You always want to have a Pumpkaboo on the on the bench when you're attacking, so that if you're once your uh, Gorgeist goes down, you have a pump -a boo ready to go, so you can just, you know, double colorless uh, Gorgeist choice band to make occasionally uh, to be able to take out the next knockout. Uh, but Lele just helps with that consistency. I mean, if you didn't have a Tapu Lele, maybe you can play a Nest Ball. So here's a couple options. Skyla, Nest Ball, uh, Heavy Ball, be able to get out Gorgeist. Uh, Basically, you want to be able to find a way to search for the Pokemon that you need. Uh, Mallow could work too, but uh, I think Nest Ball and Sky would probably be your best options if you do not have any Tapu Leles. We are playing uh, two Remoraids. Now, I've seen versions of this that actually have this as Zora and Zorark instead of uh, this, which might work better for you, but uh, I think it works fine with uh, Remoraid Octillery. Uh, you're wanting to attack with Gorgeist, so just continually attack with Gorgeist. That's the way I see it. Uh, we are playing three Field Blowers so that, you know, our Clef Keys aren't just bait. Uh, as our, so our Artilleries actually help us go through the deck. We want to have Field Blower to be able to knock off those tools of our opponents that are going to hinder us and those stadiums that are going to hurt us as well. Uh, we had two, one Heavy Ball. I was going to put two in because Gorgeist has a 3 retreat cost, so it's easy to search out with Heavy Ball. I believe Octillery only has 2. I'm actually surprised that one doesn't have 3. Uh, so, we're playing 1 Heavy Ball to be able to search out Gorgeist in a pinch. We are playing uh, 2 Nest Balls to be able to pull out Pumpkaboos, Remoraids, turn 1 so that we can evolve them right away and get going. We are playing 4 Puzzles of Time. Ah, uh, this may be questionable for most people, but it allows us to take two cards out of our discard pile and put them into our hand. This is great when you're running low on tools, you don't have any more clef keys, you can grab a rescue stretcher and a tool card, or you can grab two tool cards. Uh, so I like using Puzzle of Time in this deck. 
Um, we have uh, four rescue stretchers. Shuffle three of, from your discard pile into your deck. This works great with cleft keys. This works great pulling back your pump caboose so you always have a re uh, attacker ready to go. We're playing one special charge. We would play more, maybe a two count, but we're playing four puzzles, so we believe that we can pull it out with puzzles just as easily as we can with special charge. Or we can pull a special charge out of the discard pile with the puzzles of time. We're playing four Ultra Ball, pretty standard for every deck. Uh, two Bridgets, because not only is it good in the beginning of the game, it's also good at the end of the game. Be able to pull out those clef keys right when you're uh, struggling to find tools. We have uh, two Guzmas in order to pull out the exact Pokemon we want to take out. If we have enough tools to take out one, that's a two prizer, and uh, not another one, take out the one that you can take out so you can get ahead in those prizes. Uh, one Luzamine. Uh, I have her as just as a uh, last-ditch effort if I can't find something, if I need like a third Bridget, if I need another Mallow, uh, those kind of cards, another Sycamore or something, Luzamine, or sometimes you have some dead turns where you don't really need a supporter, and I find Luzamine to be great on those turns to be able to pull exactly what you need out of your discard pile for the following turn. We got uh, a Mallow. One of the, we got one Mallow to be able to pull off that uh, the Mallow exactly Gorgai's double colorless that we need. Sometimes, <clears throat> I think in Expanded this would obviously be a, uh, a, tra uh, a teammate, but Mallow works well when you have either Zoroark or Octillery to be able to utilize to find exactly what you need. We have, uh, I believe it's two, three, or four N. Let's go to trainers. Specifically, I think it's 3N, but I could be wrong. It could be 4. Nope, it is 3N. Now, I'm playing 3N instead of 4 because I have the one Lucimine to be able to try to pull that back out of the Discord and use it again. Same thing with Sycamore. have 3 of those instead of 4. And then we are maxed out 4 Choice Bands and 4 Float Stones because we are discarding tools every turn. And we need to find more the following turn. And then we're going to finish it off 4 Double Colorless. And that is the deck. If you guys want to take a picture, I will be having the in the description though, like I said, export it to clipboard. Um, we're going to go ahead and save it. Pumpkins are here. I think I spelled it wrong, but that's fine. Pumpkins are here. Uh, you can hashtag that if you guys like this deck a lot. But we're going to go ahead and take it to the versus ladder and see what it can do. Uh, let's versus. Let's take it off of expanded and go to standard. And let's find pumpkins are here, right here. That's where they are. They're right there. Let's take this into standard play. Hopefully we don't find a match that just wallops us, but we possibly could. This looks like a hullabaloo. Every type. Blueberry shade. She's, giving, she's throwing some shade our way. We won the coin flip. Let's go ahead and go first here. We have a couple of stage ones. We got to get set up here, and wow, three choice bands right off the bat. So we can't play that. But it doesn't tell us what tell our opponent what we're playing. Flood stones, choice bands are pretty standard in most decks, and wow, that's the choice, right? Clef key or Lele. But I think we're gonna throw ahead Clef key out there. We can go ahead and float stone it, and then when we use our first pump kaboo, we can toss that. We don't even need the Lele. We have the Bridget already. So we can Remoraid, Pumpkaboo, Pumpkaboo here. So we can start getting set up. And I actually don't think we need anything else here. We don't need to end. We can Heavy Ball for a, a Gorgeist next turn. I think we're good right there. We're okay if Clef Key goes down because we can get it back with Rescue Stretcher. But we're in a pretty good spot. Top deck the Bridget. We don't have any two two uh, prize bench damp bench uh, which is bench snipers or some bench. Uh, I don't know. Basically, we don't have Lele on the board, so they can't take out Lele for two prizes. It's no easy way to say that, I guess. Um, we are playing Garbodor here. Looks like they're going to do all-in. Heavy Ball, that doesn't really get you much. Acid Spray. 
There's no energy on me. What are they going to heavy ball for? A whim pod. So we're playing Galissa pod Garbodor. It's a pretty standard deck in the format. So we will have to watch out for those tool cards on um, Garbodor. Can't throw out our float stones this game. But let's go ahead and take out this uh, treble. Let's take out the treble. I'll go ahead and throw the float stone on the clef key. Retreat it into Pumpkaboo. <sighs> throw a double colorless. And what do I want to do here? Part of me wants to wait a turn. Yeah, I think I want to wait a turn to see if I can get something better. I think this Trubbish is weak to me, so I can take him out in one hit here. One Pumpkin Bomb. Go ahead and toss that float. Should be able to knock him out. Easy mode. There we go. 50 damage. Done. Turns into 100. And we get another Float Stone. Gore guys is pretty quick if you can get going quickly. Like as you saw, we had options to throw another 40 damage their way, so we would have at least hit for 90 damage turn two. There's that, and we're gonna get five cards here. Maybe this gives us the option to grab the artillery. I would say it does. But our opponent said, no way, no how, I'm not quick enough to keep up. Which is probably going to happen a lot on at least ladders like this. Um, we can see their deck. It's a pretty standard um, Glissapod Garbodor. Glissapod Garbodor. Um, but I guess it just couldn't keep up. So let's go ahead, we'll see if we can get another match here. We're flying through the ladder now. Okay, coins. Coins, you'll have to wait. I need to I need to get into another match here. Come on, pumpkins are here. We gotta play pumpkins, they're here. It's pumpkin patch. You got your keys, you got your pumpkins, you put them together, you got pumpkin patch, right? We lost the coin flip that time. Scientific Scott. Is that the name? I think that's the name. Nice. Ooh, here we go. We're going to start with the Pumpkin Boo. And we have a Nest Ball to get our Remoraid. They started with the Bridget and four Dark Energies. Field blower. Evil tall. Let's go ahead and nest ball, get that remoraid out. We'll take the new remoraid. And I think we don't want to attack this turn. So we are just going to go ahead and put a mallow down. Grab ourselves a uh I would say a gore guys. Part of me thinks it should be like Bridget. I think I'm gonna Bridget and Gore guys. Those are the two cards you want. Next. Uh, nothing more for us to do. There's their Bridget. Luckily, it did not in us. But yeah, we don't want to attach an energy until we are attacking with uh, Gorgeist. Which is a little strange. Usually you throw your energy down as soon as you can. Okay, there goes that one. So we got a Remoraid. We have the Bridget. Ooh, this makes it hard to like actually throw stuff down now. Uh... Can field blower their stadium. Go.
go ahead and throw this down. Because I want to have that Gorgeist, I'm going to grab it right now. And I'm going to bridge it. Another Pumpkaboo. A Remoraid. I'm going to say something that can actually handle a hit from that thing. Which I'm thinking is going to be Remoraid. I guess another Pumpkaboo. We will retreat into the Remoraid here and finish the turn. So see here is a, an option for counter energy if you guys would prefer that. Problem with counter energy is that uh, it's going to give you access to the confusion, the confuse ray, but it's not going to uh, always be good for the pumpkin bomb because you're not always going to be done. There's that altar of the Po Town, actually. It's Po Town. So Po Town's kind of dangerous for us as well. They are powering up this Guzzlord. They're trying to get a big KO here. Uh, we will go ahead and evolve. Take that damage. Hmm. I think I want to save the puzzle. We'll draw three here. Get a float stone. So 40. We could do. We can knock out the evil tall now. by discarding three tools on the bench. Question is, do we want to lose them in here and get back the Mallow and the Bridget? Because those are very useful cards. I think we do. Let's go ahead and do that. Mallow and Bridget. And a Fortunately, we will pumpkin bomb here, taking out the float stone on the octillery, which kind of sucks, and then the uh, cleft key on the pumpkaboo. All oh, resistance. Oh, good. I was like, I thought I did like perfect damage, but I wasn't sure. And a double colorless that would have hurt us. Doesn't have resistance to fighting because it's a flyer so that's the one problem with facing dark decks is that the resistance really really can get you but what are we weak to we are weak to dark as well so they have resistance and we're weak to them so this is going to really hurt um i believe this uh this zorark will be able to take us out easy mode right now yep And we got to figure out how to take it out as a rescue stretcher. It's one way to get the Gorgeis back. Yeah, let's do it that way. Grab the Gorgeis. We're already down to uh, Pumpkaboo. So our next, res next rescue stretcher will have to be that Pumpkaboo. Um, we will bridge it here. Ooh, yikes. Um, I don't want the Lele. So we can Wonder Lock here. Onto the Pumpkaboo. Abysmal Hand for two more cards. Special Charge. Not quite. Do have a lot of tools down here though. Yeah, we will go ahead and uh, shuffle the two pump caboos and the cleft key back in. And 
unfortunately, we only can hit for a little bit of damage. And he resists us. So we have to hit him for 120. So we need three tools, and we don't have three tools. I thought we had more cleft keys, but apparently two of them are prize. Up, oh, all I can do is pumpkin bomb for the cleft key damage. Yikes, that hurts. That hurts a lot. I thought Bridget would be able to pull out a couple of uh, cleft keys, but it was not able to. Pokemon Center Lady making that worth nothing. They could really beat me with just this uh, Zoroark here. This Zoroark's hard to take out for this deck. There's a field blower, it doesn't do us much good. Uh, the question is to N or uh, I know I have two double colors in there now. Question is to N or Mallow here. Malice gives us two exact cards that we need, but we need more than two cards right now. So we're going to N, put them down to three. And we still did not get what we needed. Still did not get what we needed. Um, and we're going to lose that pump kaboo now too. Yikes. We have to make sure we draw well next turn. We'll grab the Guzma. Unfortunately, this does seem like the best play. We want to save that pump kaboo for attacking. The rumor rate is just extra at this point. So this is where that argument for having a Zorark GX is useful in this deck. And Ultra Ball. Grabbing... So they have a haunch crow, but I don't think they're going to use it. This deck seems all over the place. The break. That 30 damage is going to help us. Floatstone on the Zorark. Peaking red card. Yes, they're letting us reshuffle. I'm fine with that. Thank you. That's what I needed. So what Peeking Red card does, it's a new card. Let, your, let you view your opponent's hand. And you can tell them whether or not you want them to shuffle it back in or not. So they must have been scared of the Lele. Thinking that gave me a good out, which it did not. But I'm fine with that. Oh, there was my other DCE. They actually made it worse on themselves doing it this way. Let me see if I can get a different supporter here. Nope, but we get a clef key. That's something we can discard. We'll throw the pump kaboo down and N. Let's see, so we have two tool cards we can discard. We need one more. We really need one more. Um, okay, I do have the out for one more. So we're gonna Ultra Ball, the Heavy Ball, and the Bridget. <sighs> Jesus, I guess I do not have the out for one more. 
So yeah, we're kind of struggling because I think I think two of the um, two of the clef keys are prized. So we're struggling because of that specifically. That and weakness is like killing us right now. See, all we needed was the one more tool to take that out. So we're gonna end up losing this because Zoroark is really Zoroark, uh, the stand in Zoroark is really the weakness of Gorgias, I would say. See, 200 damage, like, easy. They would have did 100 without the, uh... Without the, the weakness. So we do get a rescue stretcher here. Let's go ahead and use the rescue stretcher. Yeah, see, we only have two access to two of these guys, which kind of makes it difficult. We can mallow here. Grab ourselves a gore guys. And one of the tools. Oh, we don't have an energy. That's my bad. We did get both tools though. grab a sycamore here which we can't play because we already played a tool da 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 <sighs> okay that was my misplay terrible misplay um, grabbing a cleft key instead of an energy how many energies do we have in the deck even? two? so we had about the even amount of chance to get both I'm going to pull in the clef keys instead. But all I got to do is attack that gore guys and do 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200 damage. Way more than 200 damage. 30 damage, so yeah. We were screwed. So there you go, that's how a deck plays and deck does not play. But as you saw, we didn't lose to Guzzlord, uh, Umbreon, all those big GXs they had. We really only lost to the this guy right here, the Zoroark break. I would say this line was unnecessary here. They just needed this line, and that was the line that beat us. Um, Tantrika would have even done much to us either. It was all that uh, Zoroark. So yeah, there, there's your weakness in case you're watching out for and guard guys. So if you could find a double colorless fighting attacker, that might be able to be that solution to take out some Zoro arcs pretty easily. Um, other than that, I'd say the deck runs pretty well. It was you saw I was able to easily cycle things throughout in order to get. Um, actually, I think I want this one because I can do 60 coins easier than that. That's fine. Um, but there you go. Pumpkins are here, um, and they are pretty decent and it's a nice uh one prize game one prize sorry one prize attacker that can really throw your opponent off they're not sure what to do when you uh play that sometimes uh let's open up a couple packs here maybe we can open up something pretty quickly uh let's open up these chests we have nine of them let's see what we get in them hopefully something new nope Lady in. I think they wait at least a couple sets before throwing stuff in here. 
Butterfree. Which I think also was from Guardians Rising. It is a Thirtonator. A Tyranitar. Which I am getting rares, that's kinda cool. Uh, Delmise Reverse. Do what? You gonna do what? Do what about it? Another lady in. And the last. Oh, well, second to last chest. Getting more coins though, so that we can play a Hydreigon from Steam Siege and our last chest. Comes with a rare as well, and five coins, and that rare is going to be nice and shiny. It is a Luxray Break. So thank you guys so much for coming out. If you guys have any suggestions of decks you want to see from the uh, Crimson Invasion, let me know. I'll try to put something together. Um, I don't have a lot of cards right now, though, and this set has been a little disappointing for me. I got Raichu's. I got Raichu's. So thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Drowy. I hope you guys Alola, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.